Alright. Can y'all see the press start? Y'all cannot. Alright, this is how we rocking today. How y'all been? As promised. As promised. I am back. I don't know. I gotta put this thing on the charge. Oh, there's the charger for it. Gotta put the streaming device on the charger. Once. Let me see. I may, I may need to make an edit to the music volume. Like I know y'all probably can't hear. Where is it? Is it this one? If y'all remember where we left off from last time, we left off. We left off, and we are playing. I think we're we're playing Fresno State. I'm pretty sure. And I, we're definitely, and then Miami plays Virginia Tech, Nebraska plays Texas. So there is a chance. There is a good chance that we can come in here and mess around and leave this week as the one seed. set up. Y'all probably can definitely not hear the music, but that's okay. Look, we play at 3.30. The big game's at 12.30, but I'm gonna come here. Now, we still gotta play USC at the end of the year. But I didn't, I wanna see the scores at halftime. I'd rather not... Oh, USC won. So, USC kept their one seed spot. We don't know who won between Miami and Virginia Tech, and we don't know if Nebraska won. You know, I tried to avoid spoilers, but I guess you can't avoid all spoilers. And I still have to buy them. That's what I gotta buy, man. I gotta buy them. Um, a remote for this TV so I can hear audio from that's what I gotta get from Amazon. But you know how it be, man. Sometimes, sometimes it'd be hard to to remember to do the things. Cause I was like, I know I need to put it in an Amazon order. I was just like, what was it for? But now I remember what it was for. Eighteen mile per hour winds. We got no injuries though. We're gonna start off in the nickel. No, we're gonna start off in that three four. We got three wideouts. How do you flip? Yeah, we're gonna come. What? I'm out. No, I did not like that. All right. So when they have three wide, like I flipped the play. We're just not even gonna play with that though. I'm sick of this. I'm not burning another timeout, but we got people matched up on the wrong, the completely wrong individuals. Tackle them. They got three wide receivers. We can't run double gold. Let's see if we can't run gold double X. Let's see if we can run gold double Y. All right, 
Alright, we can run gold double Y. Holding, maybe? Thank you. Three white off again. We'll see if we can run gold double Z. We sure as hell cannot. Oh my Caleb. He attacked the person we wanted him to attack. We can run this though, we're good. Oh, we like that. We're gonna stick in this play. We're gonna just double the Y the whole game. Get him. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. They sent the tight end on a route. Wow, that's crazy. They were in the right play, man. I'm not worried about losing. It's unfortunate. You know, of course it's unfortunate that they come in you know, get that early touchdown on us. But you know, it's unfortunate, man. But we did, I don't think they can stop us on offense. We'll run 25. Get up, man. Dang. I should have spun inside, but I was like, some part of me still wants to try to get out of bounds if I can. But I need to stop doing that. If B gets open, it's a touchdown, but I don't know if he will. I don't want to kick that football. Oh, no. I saw B, but I pressed Y. Oh, that's tough. I saw him. He was wide as open. He, B was wide open, but I pressed, it was like instinctual. I pressed Y one more time, man. It was like instinctual. I thought he would throw a block. I really did assume he would throw a block. Alright, we're scoring. And then we're gonna get two. 
we're gonna go up eight to seven on these boys. Out of way to roll that thing. Touchdown. Put him with that stiffy, bro. Same, oh, same play, Johnny. Now we just gotta, we're gonna run the nickel. We should have started off in the nickel, honestly. But I definitely did not expect them to chop up our man to man so easily. So it's Ohio versus Michigan for the Little League World Series Championship. And then in the constellation, Hawaii's beating the fuck out of South Dakota right now. Good tackle. We're on a nickel. We're probably never gonna get the right man to man. Maybe double outs will do it. Let's see. So far, so good. What? All right, so we're not running that anymore. Four receivers. Um. Let's start with fire green. Wrong matchups, bro. Like, why is the safety on the running back? I don't understand it. The, the linebacker should get the running back. Oh, he was so open, bro. We got to cover somebody. Three receivers now. I think we can, we'll be okay with three. Will we? We'll see. I'm not using a time. We sh we're okay with three. Gonna, let's go. Let's go, good tackle. Three, we'll still be okay. Fire green, man. Let's go. Oh! How did he get off of that sack? <laughs> he said, I thought we had him. Bro, he was what? Who is, what is he doing in coverage? This is why we're not getting, nobody's winning the Heisman this year. Look, he's wide open. But he finally catches up to him. Jesus, that's exactly why we ain't got nobody that's going to win the Heisman this year, bro. <laughs> we can't cover. We got like the worst defense coverage wise. In the whole NCAA, bro. All right, so 11 got the most energy. Hopefully it's not another mistake by me. Throw a block. He knew I was trying to get out of bounds. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. We'll get out of bounds again. Fresno State may not score again. 
Fresno State may not sniff that end zone. Yeah, we're get, we're doing a great job getting out of getting out of bounds. So the picture for Hawaii. Some of the players on Hawaii have the mask. They don't wear it, but I'm like, you know, they just got it on. <laughs> And I'm like you're playing baseball, man. But I guess I guess it's always good to wear as opposed to not. But I'm like, man, you're playing baseball. You you always gonna be gonna have a good distance between you and the next guy. But everything's getting a little more normal. Twenty three returns, average is twenty yards. Is that a good return average? I guess in the NFL nowadays, they'd prefer for you to average over 20. We're in the nickel. They only got, they got like three, but we're not leaving this fire green under any circumstances. Get him. Let's go. Who is that? There you go. Like when they when they block the wrong people, we got to make them pay. We got to punish them. Oh, I should have picked that. Why is he not picking that up? Like, why are we getting pass deflections? Like, we know so much better than to do something like that. Good coverage. That's how it should be every time, bro. Coverage should always be like that. I'm telling you, they may not sniff that end zone again for the rest of the game. We're finna go no huddle, go up 22-7, then we're gonna start chewing the clock. Ooh, we got over to 50. 11 and 25 both have a lot of energy. We'll do this and then go up. But nobody be really trying Caleb on defense. I thought I could get around him, get some more yards. That was a setup. They set me up. That's why I don't throw that. Fuck. No, you set me up. I thought I had it for a second. But that was a good pick. No way! Of course they block me, bro. Out of all the players, they block me. They got... Oh, they be flipping the plays. Good, good sack. Oh, no, it is a two-possession game. 
Yeah, I'm gonna start chewing clock. It's gotta be a play action. Damn. Let me go block. Let me try to block the pump. Yeah, I can shoot clock. We're up two possessions. No, I thought we had him on that path, but the safety, he, he made the right play and he caught the pick. Everybody has about the same energy. Did he get out of bounds? Sure didn't. We're gonna we're gonna try to give eleven a break on offense, especially with everybody having all this energy. But yeah, no, this is a wrap. They have no answer for fire green. Almost didn't get in there. Click the wrong play, but it's all good. Damn, no strip. They gonna keep on begging us to run fire green. tight end we don't want our safety to match up on the tight end though but we think we'll be okay bro of course they flipped the play bro good coverage did he tip that He just dropped it. I wish I was able to get in front and tip that, but that's some decent that's some decent recovery speed. He threw a duck and we didn't go to I didn't wanna I didn't wanna try to pick that. <laughs> because I was like, oh no, he's finna um I thought that he would have uh, he would have made a play on the ball if I tried to pick it. Thought I could get around him. It's, I guess agility means something in this game. Got me on that. Everybody has about the same energy. 
I'm surprised he tracked me down. We got to see who's winning between Miami and Virginia Tech. We know USC won, but we got to see what's happening with Nebraska as well. Oh my goodness, they're starting to play some defense. I haven't spoken about the screens. I'll talk about the screens next possession. So I got, um, Godzilla versus Kong, Naruto. They're fighting um, Kining Maru, the guy with the bone, KK Genkai. Hawaii's beating up on um, South Dakota in Little League Baseball. Dang, I really thought I could spin both of them out. Then I'm watching Jurassic, the first Jurassic Park. I'm also watching somebody's speed run. I'm also watching some football, some NFL highlights, and I don't know what's on the other screen. But I, I'm going to change the speed run to one of my old streams. I got to upload some of the streams. Well, of course, Fresno State knew they was going to get the get their ass slapped today, bro. They should have honestly already been hip to it. But it's their fault for assuming that just because South Dakota State and them boys can get a couple TDs on us, that they can blow us out. Like, we're getting, we're getting in the form to play against USC Notre Dame. We're gonna have a Notre... I think we play Notre Dame, USC... And then we'll probably play Miami. And then we'll be the, like, number one team in the world. At least from a college perspective, click the wrong play again. And so far, it's off the backs of us running fire green every possession. Because nobody's got an answer for it. Damn, Holland? You was a starter. We can't be losing our starters, bro. Now, oh, he stepped, he stepped up in that pocket, and I want to dive, but diving is like a little dangerous, man. He's only out for the game. Yeah, that's how you get yards on fire green. You got to run that shit up the middle. But it's like, how many receivers? Four, three, three. Dang, man. Oh, they they trying to see when they run four wide outs, then we got to get out of fire green. Damn. We got to pick that. He th he's throwing ducks. Since Fire Green's been doing so well, I think I'm gonna run it till they get two first downs. Oh my, 
he, did he drop it or did he just not touch it? I think he dropped it. Sure did. <laughs> he sure did drop it. I'm not clicking on the nap. Good, good bat now. No, I know better than to click on the nap, bro. Bro, probably not going, but I moved, I took the user players off with a kick return, cause that's just a quick and easy way for them to lose energy. Good return, Glover. Mm, 11 got a lot of energy, 11 and 25. Let's see what play day room. I may burn a timeout eventually and then throw a block. Makes no sense to not go for the tutty. When we don't get a first down, that's when I'll burn a timeout, put all of our receivers in and try to get another score. He didn't have to try to tackle me right there. He decided to try to tackle me. I'm gonna let some of our players get some rest. <laughs> All right. Let's start with Fork. I'm looking for X, really. I'm probably gonna run to the left side of the field, look for X. We're only looking for X on this play. He's not open. We'll see if he gets open on this one. Will we be able to get into the end zone? Yeah, X never got up. Let's run. We're looking for R X. We're looking for anybody. So we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to take an end zone shot. Bam. Holding probably. We gotta stay in this pocket. We don't got the energy to run. All right, we're looking for a B or R. Maybe X. No PI right there? All right, we gotta look for somebody on the right side of the field. We'll, we'll look for R. P.I. <laughs> All right, let's look at half, see what the score is. We know USC won. Oh, they're down, but we know they win. Virginia Tech beat Miami. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Virginia, Miami's not re. We might play Virginia. If Virginia Tech doesn't lose. We may play Nebraska in the championship, or we may, I don't know who we'll play anymore. Cause if we beat USC, we have to assume that if USC's number two and we beat them, they may drop to number three, you know? It's like, we gotta consider that. <laughs> if we beat USC, they may drop down to number three. Let me, 
Will they push Virginia Tech up from number four to um? Do y'all think they'll push Virginia Tech? How far back will they drop Miami, and how far up will they push Virginia Tech? Cause now Miami's a one loss team. What do y'all speculate? I think. Like Miami could be the new number four. I mean, could go to number five. You know. Miami to me, Miami could definitely be a number five team. And then we go up to four. USC stays number one. Virginia Tech to two. Nebraska stays at three. Yeah, I think Virginia Tech should move from four to two. I don't know, but Miami, they're basically out of it. But we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how these bowl, how these rankings shake out. Hike it, hike it, hike it. Hike the ball. I don't care. It'll be interesting to see how these rankings shake out. I'm interested to see. Or would it drop Miami behind, like, Tennessee and them? Because Tennessee, like, you, when you think about it, Tennessee and them boys, like, Tennessee's, like, undefeated in the SEC. You got Oklahoma. Oklahoma barely lost to us. It'll be interesting if we beat USC and they, they still have USC at number two at the end of the season. Because then it's like, who does, like, if USC wins the Pac-10 and Oklahoma wins the Big 12 and they're both one-loss teams, who do you put in there? Because we only barely beat Oklahoma. Let's say we only barely beat USC. Who do you put in there? Do you put Nebraska? <laughs> do you put Miami back in there? It'll be interesting. Damn. Okay, we'll take that. That corner, he sprinted up to make that play, bro. He, like, sprinted up to make that play. At least we're not fumbling this game. But that's the one thing about college football. It's like, dang, you lost one game. Especially late in the season. Like, your season may be... Your championship hopes may be over. That's why you got to give credit to the great teams. Like, the teams that go undefeated. I know initially when they introduced the playoff and stuff, I probably had people upset because you're like, oh, you're going to let a 2-3 loss team? Like now, like, let's say you have an Alabama team that's really good. They can fuck around and lose to Auburn and LSU and be an 11th seed in a 12-team playoff and still maybe, and still probably have a really good shot, shot to win it all. Especially the 11 seed. Because then they'll play the 2 seed, I think. And the 2 seed is probably not an SEC school. So they can probably fuck around and may not see an SEC school again to the championship. And then it may be the SEC school that beat them by like 2 points. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's interesting. I remember when Alabama almost lost to Florida. Like me... Like as a fan, I don't like rooting for the underdog. But sometimes, like when I like when I watched the Milwaukee Phoenix, like I didn't want Giannis to win a ring, but it was hard for me to root against Milwaukee. But I also wanted Devin Booker to win a ring. Like I wanted Devin Booker to get a ring, but it was hard to root against Milwaukee. And then I wanted Giannis. Yeah, that's what that's what happened. But in the other series, I'd want Phoenix to lose, but it was hard to root against D. Book. 
and it's like that's how it is for me as a fan, man. Sometimes it's hard, hard for me to root against some of these teams. Dang, he still threw it. I ran that route better than him. And he still threw it. <laughs> wow. They clicked me. I was clicked on to the wrong person. All right, if they get another first down, they may have figured it out. Just run crazy. Press the throw button and hope for the best. He was, well, I guess he wasn't really open on that post, but he probably would have got something, something going good for him. Get him. That's some good ass coverage, bro. We is covering up today, bro. No, no, you did not. What? Of course it's on McGee, bro. He did not get off of one of our best defensive players. Look at this. <laughs> and that gave him just enough time. <laughs> what the hell, bro? All right, let, let's, let us get out of fire green, bro. They was finna hoe us. They're probably still passing. I'm going for strips. That quarterback is like, he's going sicko mode, bro. He's out here breaking off of sacks by like our team's tackle leader. I'm like, bro, where did they do that? He broke off of the sack, bro. Like, no problem at all, just said, excuse me. Like, that's probably an ESPN top 10 play. Quarterback breaks off a sack from the tackle leader. Where's 25? How was 25 exhausted? Wow. I said, he ain't covering nobody. I don't know how he, but that, he. I don't know, man. I don't know how, man. I don't know how he got so open. But that's what happened. Like, when, that's why we try to just man up our user players on them. They was running. They was running for him, and it's like not like Madden where we could just change the match. Like, and I know how to do audibles in Madden. Freaking ref. See, like, sometimes I'm able to run through the ref, but that time I had to, they made me run into the ref. 
I'm not looking for Riley. Guess I am. Oh my gosh, this spy. Damn, he could have thrown a block on anybody right there. He really could have blocked anyone. <laughs> Either one of those two and it would have been all right. I wonder how bad Fresno's going to drop down after they lose. If it's going to be like, well, you lost, you lost to a really good team. If it's going to be like, oh, y'all lost to the national champions of last year, you know. We're not going to drop y'all out the top 25. Or if it's going to be like, y'all just can't hang. Mm -hmm. Georgia plays Clemson week one this year. I wonder why. But Clemson is probably trying to tell Trevor Lawrence, like, if you stay, we'll, we'll schedule Georgia. We'll let you play in Athens. But Trevor went and got that Duffy. It's probably hard being a a college quarterback, especially if you go to a good school where there's competition. I know that can be hard, man. I know they do Little League World Series. I want to I wanna do like older kids World Series, like maybe high school eight, like travel baseball as they get older. I'm excited to see the rankings, man. They probably, we're probably not going to go. I expect us probably, and at least the BCS rankings, like the media and the coaches poll may keep us at five. But at least in the media rankings, I expect for us to be. We'll go fire green. See how we cover. Well, we came out in the right coverage. Oh, he handed it off. Two wide up, we'll go double gold. Oh my gosh, this is the wrong coverage. I'm listening. could pick that was a wrong play call too because I didn't expect for the corner I thought the corners would switch but they know what to do to get the right matchups CPU sure does know how to get the right matchups you see when they have that spy in the middle of the field sometimes you gotta run up a little bit I got out of bounds and he still tackled me bro throw the freaking flag I don't know, football's a little dangerous. You gotta think about, would you want your kids, like, me? If I had a, a son, or if I had someone that wanted to, like, if I had a daughter and she wanted to play, and it was, like, sixth grade, I'm like, if she's not kicking, bro. Because sixth grade, well, six, if it's sixth grade, I don't mind, because it's like, they ain't gonna hit her too hard. But, it like, I think, for me... Like, I started feeling like around some good 7th graders know how to hit. 8th grade, definitely. Some good 8th graders know can pop your ass, bro. 
Oh my gosh. That's on me though. I gotta go. I was talking. No, some good eight. Like, I remember we played Milton in eighth grade, bro. Like, I was. T I tried to block somebody. He popped my ass. I said, bro, I do not want to block no more. We played, um. And then at some other times we played. Like, I got tackled. You know. Like, tackles didn't affect me, but I know some. Like, I'm not saying tackles didn't affect me. Like, I didn't feel any tackles. I'm like, you know, when I got tackled, it didn't, like, hurt. But I know that some of those people could hit. <laughs> like, if they had the right angle on you, bro, they could hit that. Them. You could, like, we played um, Northview, and I felt them tackles, bro. From Chike and Mike, bro. And, uh-huh, I felt all them tackles from them Northview boys, bro. Every single one, pretty much. Except for when I had them on the side and they would, and they'd get me from the side. <laughs> I didn't really feel those, but all of them, I'm coming at them trying to juke. They wrap my ass up, throw my ass to the ground. Yeah, I felt all of those. But when you're, but you know, when they're young kids, you know, as long as the coach isn't crazy, because that's one thing, like, like, that's why you kind of, when you got little kids, unless if your kid is, like, good and really competitive, you don't want to be in on the best team. Like, there are some people, like, on my, like, when I was on, when I was playing with Carlos and them in third grade, like, we were, like, the best, we was, like, the definitive best eight, eight to nine-year-old team. We had the best eighth graders. And pretty much the best ninth grader. And that's, I feel like at Creekview, we was cheating in CYFA. <laughs> Caleb, you could probably attest to this too. Because I bet some other schools sometimes did it as well. But this, some, the, the championship winning Creekview teams was most of the time, they was loaded with talent. They was loaded with talent, bro. I remember when we played, bro. We had about. Wait, hold up. Let me make. Let me get right. Oh, that's brought in the backup QB. Did the starter QB get hurt? No, they just brought in the backup. Guess they're trying to work on some things. It's three. Oh my gosh. We'll take that. No, like, so on that Creek View team, we had me, Carlos, Gail. We had some of the best. We, like, the people we did, we didn't have Shane. I think Shane was on a different team. Or Shane might have not been at the school yet. Like, we ain't have the... But 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 we pretty much had, like, all the, the best recess talent, for sure. No question, we had the best recess talent. No question. Because we had, like, I was probably the best recess eighth grader, I mean, eight-year-old at Macedonia and Buffington, or if it was Avery, I'm not sure if it was that yet. But, because I know, like, the... But I know I was one of the only eight. I think we had Jared. We might have not had Jared. I know a lot of the other teams were full of eighth graders, but we had a lot of ninth graders. And we had me. I don't know if I went too high. Because I know when we played... um, Because I know I was decently... But the, I know I was decently fast in eighth grade when I was eight. But I don't know if I was, like, a lot faster than the second fastest kid. 
especially with pads I'm not too sure I think because around third grade I think around third grade yeah third grade for sure is when I was definitely not the first fastest one in the school but the fastest person in the school he didn't play football and damn hopefully he didn't get hurt he didn't play football in um <laughs> what's it called eighth grade he played it when he when he was when he was eight he played when he was nine but he didn't play when he was eight he could have really picked that up But now nah, I'll be saying it was like we was cheating because we had like we was but when we won I don't think we were legitimately tested that whole like we had like I guess maybe two close games like the team we beat in the championship we beat them earlier in the season and we barely beat them but then in the or maybe we blew them out I don't know but I know in the championship, we beat them boys, like, 20-6 to 6 or 21-6. to 6. And we, and they scored late, or they might have scored when we already had 20-something. Like, that, the, the game was over. Because I remember, we was up so many points that they started rotating, they started rotating the, the not the best players on the team. And <laughs> I know, but when we was in... But the thing that messed me up when I was on fourth grade is the coach said, when I'm on the left side of the field, carry it in my left hand. And I was obviously a lot slower when I did that. But I was trying to follow the rules because I was, I always listen to the rules. So I told you, USC beats Washington, they come back beat Washington State. Let me see if there's a Nebraska game up here yet. No, they don't. See, Tennessee... Beats Duke 58-0. to zero. So you got to consider, like, is Tennessee going to hop up in here? But we'll see, man. No, nah, but, yeah. Eighth grade, we, um, I mean, eight, eight nine-year-olds, we had the best team by a while. But the thing is, a lot of teams, we, they would do the sign. Like, you would sign the, like, commit to a team and say you wanted to play only on this team. And then they would honor that agreement. Like, I think you would lose a draft pick. So that's how a lot of teams can get really top-heavy. Like, we're like, oh, we're definitely going to have this player. So the team get unreasonably top-heavy. They don't have the si oh, they play that night, but yep. Oh, Miami was down that whole game. Wait, it was 14-13 at half. Oh, Miami, dang, man, Miami. We'll see. I'm trying to pay attention to Nebraska. I think Nebraska won 24-20. We're the four team now. Well, yeah, I, oh, so, see, that's what I was like. I was like, Tennessee will probably jump up here. So, you got Big Ten. We beat Ohio State. Now they have two losses, Big 12, Oklahoma. But they still got to play Nebraska. Nebraska still got to see them. Then you got Miami. They lost one game. You got, see, I feel like Tennessee could overtake because the people are like, Tennessee hasn't played nobody. You got us. We got to play Louisiana Tech now. Nebraska plays Kansas. Uh, so this may be our last game of today because 
We might be playing like not a lot of games from week to week. The Wolf Pack. Oh, uh, that's. Yeah, who's the Wolf Pack? Oh, NC State? They got a loss, though. We'll see if they can. Oh, the ACC and Big Geese are differentiated. So the media has Virginia Tech over Nebraska, and the coaches have Nebraska over VT. I want to see stat statistics. Season? Yeah, let's look at season. I want to see all of... Let's start with the whack. Rushing. So he leads the whack in yards. Well, they should lead an average, but that's strange. Touchdowns, he leaves the whack and touchdown. Oh, he's, yep, leads in interceptions. Nowhere close in pass deflections, though. Does he lead the NCAA in interceptions? Maybe six is a lot. He's one behind Ted Ginn. So maybe he'll catch him. He'll have an opportunity. Let's look at rushing. Uh, no, we're probably not catching him. Not with freaking four running backs. I didn't even see the USC game. Does it, I don't think I don't think we're moving up, so this may be our last game for today. We'll see. I don't think we'll be moving up because I think US like Virginia Tech. But I think we gotta hope Virginia Tech or Nebraska loses. But I think if we beat USC, we'll have to overtake Virginia Tech. Or Nebraska in the computer rankings. You saw what happened with Virginia Tech, how they beat Miami. They jumped to the two or number one computer ranked team. So we'll see. But now you play Louisiana. It would be something if Tennessee passes us, bro. Some people may say they deserve it, but after we play Notre Dame and USC, that's only going to help our case. I didn't expect for Notre Dame to be so bad this year, though. Because they were the third team last year with two losses. It was like, who's going to play Miami? Yes, or Notre Dame. Good tackle. Oh, no back. Let's go cover two. Cover two man? Let's do cover two man, see how we live in. Damn, got pancake. Ooh, what? Oh, he, he tried to spin off of it. You know, I like cover two, man. It's just tough when he doesn't have anyone in the backfield. No, he kind of got humbled. Let's see what Joyner can do. All right, go ahead and pump. Go ahead and pump. I wonder, I wonder what's the, the theory behind trying to get a not trying to go for the full first, just trying to get a completion. Face mask? Oh, thought they were gonna give it to us. Everybody's got energy. Um, we're probably gonna know how to at the beginning till we get 16. Wow, what a, that's a good angle. That's why I shouldn't have slowed down. I 
All right, we'll take that. I still was able to get out of bounds. I thought I'd maybe be able to juke him. But that was not. Got inside the 10. So it's no more no huddle right now. They like have too many people in coverage. He'll be back. He only hurt his elbow. He'll be back. I'd hope. I hope he'd be back. Because if not, then we're going to have to go to 4-4 four, four and stick in it. But it may just be a zinger. It doesn't matter. if he, He's going to put him out of bounds like every freaking time. But we didn't recruit a kicker. Oh, he's still not here. All right, let's check him out. Oh, we'll return seven plays. Put him back in. Dime, right? tackle. Yeah, Van's going to have an opportunity to get a lot of sacks. They got four. Um, We should be all right. If the right man matches up on the running back. Yep. Nope. Sure didn't. Oh, my God. He almost caught that shit. It's like, I don't know how we consistently have the wrong person matched up on the running back. He was what? How did he get that open? Did he just forget his assignment? He straight up did. Because he his ass was downfield uncovered. <laughs> Jeez Louise. But no, when I use their blitz, it seemed like but when we play the good teams, they we can't I can't use their blitz against them. Glover got no agility. Who's the most? Uh, we're running 5 and 11. Oh, 11 looks like he got all the energies. I'm gathering all of the energies. That's Curtis and Nish. That's Curtis' first song. We'll take it. You know, that DN had a little speed on him. I wonder if I can pull him from the game now. Oh, he's going to be exhausted. Let's see if he fumbles. Oh my, he was so slow. He was moving sloth speed. I was shocked. I said, I said, man, I should have just made a beeline out of bounds. That's seven. That's a good angle they take him. That's some good programming.
Yeah, I wonder how it is in baseball when y'all don't put up a run. It's got to be like a little disheartening. I wonder how fit the pitcher is. It's like, we didn't put up a single run. <laughs> it's like when you're, when you're on defense and y'all and the offense puts up like go scoreless and y'all lose you know 9-0 off of field positioning because they just got fortunate field positioning like you can't hold them to no first downs all game like once you get to I feel like once you get to 8th grade well no like you can enforce your will on teams but I still feel like it, uh, eventually there becomes an age where it becomes difficult to hold teams basically scoreless. And we got the right people matched up on the right people. I'm on the wrong side, though. Hopefully they don't block the running back. He ran right past him. That is terrible. Like, our middle linebacker, he ran right past his ass. Only two White House. We'll go Dog Golden. I need to stop running this. I'll call timeout. Because when they do, when they stack the wideouts out of that, like, we'll just, they'll match up to whoever is the closest. And we don't want that. Come on, Glover. Good tackle. Uh, oh, he hurt his elbow. Is that the r running back coming in to play QB? <laughs> Don't tell me they're going to tell him to throw the ball. They sure are. Get at that. You're kidding me. Yeah, we're getting out of fire green. We'll go double slots. He, was he on the field? I thought he was on the bench. No, he was. They put him. They put his ass back in at quarterback. <laughs> they said, "You ready?" <laughs> oh my God! He 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 injures his elbow. They put him back in. Then he comes and injures his hand. That's tough. Good tackle. They put his ass back. He's supposed to be hurt. Let me see. He's out. Oh, number 16. So we injured the second string QB? Are they running like wildcat plays on us? They being disrespectful? Clean his ass up. <laughs> They're gonna have to block that running back. They sure did block that running back. <laughs> Pass interference. You are kidding me. We're gonna we're gonna take a step away from that coverage then. You are kidding me. Wow. They was finna bail their ass out with nothing but pass interferences. I see what that shit was finna become. I can't believe you, Van. What? It's 16. Oh my gosh. They working their ass down down their field though. Three wide out. Let's run cover two.
Hopefully they keep on passing. He must him. Yeah, the defense was tired, but at the same time, bro, like, we were in fire green. We had the ass right exactly where we wanted them. But homeboy did a pass interference. How do I done him? Well, now we gotta go score. We're gonna know how to look him. We're gonna run number 25 last, cause he did hurt himself. Oh, that's seven. That's seven. This is my first long run. He might have set the longest run in YNBA B Tech history. He sure did. He he's at the longest run in the in the history of NCAA, man. I did not expect him to miss a dive. Wow. He's exhausted too now. That's how we answer. I gotta change this song. Oh, they're one in nine, putting up touchdowns on us. See, this probably, watching this game film probably give Notre Good tackle, Glover. That's his fourth tackle. <laughs> Alright, we'll see. How many receivers? Three? And no. Uh, no. Let's see what happens when we come in fire green. Why doesn't he get the receiver? What? Come on. He came from the other side of the field to make that tackle. All right, no fire green. Let's see what happens when we run thunder green. Let's see match up on. Of course they flipped the play. Oh, we good. No, we got decent matchups. You got to pick that. Mm, that's too many receivers. All right, cover three. Oh, I saw that shit too. That's on me. I saw I saw he was looking for the drag. You might be like, John, how do you see he's looking? I knew he was gonna throw the drag. Pick the ball off. Three receivers. All right, let's run Thunder Green. Damn, just poor matchups. All right, now it fixed itself. I'm listening. Oh, he was finna get. He was finna get tackled. Did he get? Did he come through untouched? Oh yeah, he came through untouched. I thought I gotta put all these receivers out here, bro.
I wish I could hit it because he would have he would got his ass cleaned up just for touching the football. <laughs> he would have got his ass cleaned up just for touching the football. G. Damn, don't block the nigga right in front of you. Twenty-five got the most energy, so let's see if he's ready to run now. That was a good little stunt and roll concept. I saw a B, but I'm not throwing that. Well, probably it'd be ideal if we could run out the rest of this clock, but that's probably not an option. How y'all feeling on this Sunday, man? Ooh, that's seven. Oh, that's the one thing I like about the one thing I enjoy the most about football is people breaking off long runs. You know, the passes, those don't really excite me as much. You know, I know a lot of NFL fans nowadays really like the passes, the catches. But to me, like, the offense is so, like, OD when compared to the defense. Because the defense, you can't even put, like, a hand on these dudes nowadays. Like, if, isn't it if you if you touch them past, like, five or six yards, bro? <laughs> you finna get a penalty. <laughs> and then now, if you get a P.I. deep down the field, like, in the playoffs, in the playoffs, they don't really be calling the P.I.s as much. You know, in the playoffs, they be letting the defense cover but in the regular season, bro, these dudes, like, you'll see third down, they'll just be like, draw contact. That's the play call, is draw contact. <laughs> no, I'm not even lying, bro. And I'm like, bro, this even football, because it's like, if, if it's third, let's say it's third and 16, they're at their own 20-yard line. If they draw contact at the 40, then man, they get the ball at the forty. I'm like, bro, is that even? That's not even football. <laughs> that's like, okay, let me draw some quick contact so I can get down the field and not have to catch a pass. Next thing you know, they're gonna they're gonna start tracking, draw defensive pass interference. Let's see if eighty five is back. He is not. All right, let's see. We'll return three plays. No, you're coming back in now, man. We need you on defense. He gonna, he gonna play with a migraine? He's strong. We covering like all the wrong routes. <laughs> wrong play. Thank God he didn't catch that. Cause I was like, bro, why is he so open over there? Let's go Thunder Green again. Nothing we can do about that. 
three wideouts. Let's see what side of the field they're on. Oh, we matched up correctly. Damn, get him. That's tough. We matched up correctly. It's our monster green. See how we match up. Uh, we matched up correctly again. It's just unfortunate, like, who's covering the tight end and who's covering the running back. Good tackle. Four wide outs. One tight, oh, three wide outs, one tight end from Monster Green. And of course, we're in the wrong coverage. Get him, get him. Let's go. We be getting in the, it's like we're in the wrong coverage because we have one of the non, like, user created defenders on the wide receiver and he'll get toasted. We'll probably pass. I'll probably come out and pass. Yeah, we got one time out. We'll start and pass. Did we score out of this one? I don't remember. Let's start off in this. I'm gonna look for R. Dang. He was open, just a terrible pass. I'm gonna look for R again. Probably would have been better off running. No, probably not. I'm gonna look for A. Or R. What the? No, we, we will just run for the first down. We'll just run for the first down and we'll run until we got a call timeout. No, I don't. If he can't get out of bounds, then you know. Five or five to be on a streak. All right, we're gonna we're going deep to eighty five, bro. Out of the I form. He didn't catch it. I gotta see that. He didn't even touch it. Let's look at halftime scores. Oh, nobody, nobody before us that we care is playing. Nobody we care about is playing before us. I'm surprised he didn't. We didn't catch that, but that's okay. I guess that's one of the situations. That, 
as to which we should let the CPU handle it, but I thought we'd get lucky. Yeah, let's, let's kill some clock. Damn, he trying to hit. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I should, I should watch my language. I gotta make better use of the stiff arm. We're gonna try to not run 25 as much as we can. If I can get, if I can hit Riley, I'll hit him. He was open. Not open enough to get thrown to, but he was open. <laughs> mm -mm. Definitely not open enough to get the ball. If I didn't stiff him, that might have been seven. All right, go get another touchdown, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think, I don't think USC, Wisconsin, or Virginia Tech is losing this week. Virginia Tech could lose to Pittsburgh. We'll see. <sighs> it's crazy, like, the GameCube games, this strategy would work. Xbox 360, NCAA Football 14 in particular, the strategy they used was, um, the strategy they used was read option. Read option up and down the field. Man 20, the strategy they use is um hand it off stretch and dive man stretch and dive if dive don't work stretch if stretch don't work dive if that don't work you got a receiver with abilities run some out routes or something those like like mad that man was like od bro what's the ability to just chop your opponent up with like no skill whatsoever we're in the wrong coverage well, not in the wrong coverage, but people are mashed up on the wrong players. Good stuff. He threw to the wrong. He threw to the wrong guy. I wonder why they do that on I don't I wonder if that's on purpose because I know he didn't he wasn't experiencing any pressure. That's only three receivers, right? Yeah. Oh look at us back in the wrong coverage. What's a extra lineman to block? That's a good play. That is a really good play. They basically cleared out that one side of the field so they could get them. It looked like a QB run. Mm, no, not five. So we're gonna just alternate between Thunder Green and Monster Green. Back again in the wrong coverage.
Oh, good tackle. Like, they're just... They're attacking our right side of the field. And since they do that, we get the we get the wrong person matched up on the receiver. Oh, he flipped sides. Let's go. Bro, come on. We got to cover somebody, bro. If he's throwing it away, I don't know what he's doing. Cock back. Boom. Oh, wrong person on the wrong players again. For some reason, your baby falls asleep whenever Reggaeton plays on YouTube music. Strange? Maybe. Oh my, get him. I don't. We are just out of pocket, bro. Oh, now we're going to get in the right coverage. You're kidding. He threw you a duck. He threw you a literal quack. <laughs> he threw you a quack. And he tips it. Oh, finally. What happened? Do we can... Oh, 74 didn't pick up anybody. Neither did. We confused him enough. We barely got enough confusion out of him. Ooh, he almost tried to strip us. Oh, he's still, t I'm out of bounds and he's tackling me. That should be illegal. Bro, they, they done adjusted, bro. But I know when we run out of the single back. They're not going to have an answer for it. Oh my gosh. Not this late in the season with these injuries. We need to relax. Louisiana Tech pretty fast.
beat him to the pie line. Damn. I should have juked. If I juked, I might have got it. It's tough that people is getting injured like right by the end zone. Because then it's like they don't get their place to rest if they needed rest. Let's see if he's back. Sure it's not. One week. So he can't play this game. Well. Defensively, out of the 4-4, four, four, we're going to move him. We'll put Cassell right here. Yep, that's what we'll do. And we'll stick in the 4-4 four, four the rest of the game. Now we can run fire green. <laughs> so we'll start off with a little bit of that. His first play in, he makes a tackle. That, that's defense. Mild concussion, man. But no, we're not. All right, hold it down. Six and three as the fourteenth seed, bro. Just too open on that right side of the field. Green, good. Off sides. Oh my gosh. I don't think we were off sides, but. Good tackle. Well, I shouldn't say good. I should say good coverage. We'll try to make it through the rest of this game with no more injuries. I'll try to kill as much clock as possible. Oh, we don't got to run out of this formation anymore. Oh my gosh. I see L, I see A. Yeah, I can run out of this formation again. So yeah, he's only going to be out for this week. Which is not bad at all. And even if he was out for next week, as long as he can play when we play Notre Dame and USC, that's all we need. We really need, like, two. Two of our players is, like, barely enough. <laughs> two of our players is, like, barely, is just barely enough.
I gotta spin. I gotta remember to spin with him. All got about the same energy. See, I think they regenerate in, in, regenerate stamina by play count, not by time. Which is, you know, good for the game. But I'm like, ma'am. Good run. All right, 11 got the most energy. We're running out of no back. If we score, they'll probably get their energy back by being able to sit a little bit. How do we have 46? Do, oh, we failed a two point conversion, I guess. I thought he was gonna be hurt when he went down and laid like that. Let me change this movie. If he hits this one, he might get himself a jersey. Oh, I wanted to watch that movie. Um, all right. Oh, don't wanna run that way. Jesus. <laughs> we don't want him to get tackled, bro. That's like, uh-uh, that's a no-no. No unnecessary hits. If one of them goes to the sideline, that's when we'll burn some time out. But until then... They're going to play through their fatigue because it's not like, you know, they got to cover for what, three seconds, two seconds. Fire green. Yeah, look, Rollins is on side, so they better not call nothing fruity. You gotta pick that one. Good tackle. He's just not getting his force, man. People been hogging up the tackles, I guess. Good tackle. No, I think a fake was in order. So if he returns it, he returns it. too tired to even get downfield pretty much. All right, 85 getting a break. Yeah, when they're in the red, we're not going to get any good yards. I know these boys are probably happy to get a lot more carries. Oh, I could have ran out of that one formation. This will definitely probably be the end of it.
three back. Um, I think after this first down, I'm gonna start taking knees. Fumbling out of bounds. Not the worst thing in the world, but not what you want to see. Oh yeah, we can take knees. 52-7, we'll be able to see if we're gonna go up or down. Oh, I finished Naruto again. Notre Dame beat George. So Notre Dame still getting some decent wins, but they're getting some like awful losses. It may not mean as much when we beat them. What the mug? I just, oh, I don't got to call, I thought that I still have to call a play. All right, let's see. Oh, let me, let me update the music selection. This may be our last game of this, and then we'll go to the Xbox one. We will see. Run up when you see me in, we will see. USC beat Oregon. Beat the brakes off of Oregon State. Oklahoma beat... Oklahoma just getting quality win after quality win, but we beat Oklahoma. So, do you know, some... Probably if there was, like, a show for this on ESPN, like, the whole week, they'd be like, is Oklahoma better than YNBA beat Tech? They're gonna win the big... If Oklahoma wins the Big 12, should they be in the big game? <laughs> That's probably what they'd be saying. If Oklahoma wins the Big 12, they only lost to YNBA B Tech by two. Do you take YNBA B Tech out of there for Oklahoma? <laughs> skip. 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 <laughs> skip. <laughs> skip. We can't take YNBA B Tech out of there, Skip. <laughs> YNBA B Tech already beat Oklahoma. It don't matter the points. It don't matter the points, Skip. And wins a win, Skip. <laughs> It would be like, YNBA B-Tech is a whack school. Two points. <laughs> They're a whack school. They don't deserve it. Who cares if they won it last year? Virginia Tech won. They beat the brakes off of Pittsburgh. We're still ranked four. Oh, man. They probably got um Virginia Tech over them. We we should be, but once we beat USC, we should hop all the way up to the top two at least. They play Arizona, they play Temple, they play a good Kansas State team. They they're letting Tennessee get pretty close up on us. They play Mississippi State. I don't know, man. We've just been, we've been, like, we've been slowly creeping up here, man. But USC, so, like, USC still got to play us, so we're not really concerned about USC. Nebraska's going to have to meet Oklahoma. Virginia Tech still got to see Virginia. They might Virginia Tech may not lose. And then Nebraska. I think that if we beat USC, that'll be enough to catapult us. Yeah, if we beat USC, that'll be enough. But Nebraska's they got to play Kansas State 
and they got to play a decent Colorado team. But and then after that, they got to probably play Oklahoma. Let's look. Bro, let's look at Heisman launch. Award finalists. Let's see where they got us. They probably got us somewhere up here right now. Oh, wow. They got us Ohio State again in the Rose Bowl? We already bust Ohio State ass. Why would we, play, why would we not play number three team? Oh, because Nebraska's going to play at Miami? They should have us playing Miami. Let's look. They got Virginia Tech USC. That'll be a good one. Or they could have us playing Tennessee. We'll see, bro. I think, but I think if we beat USC, I don't think it makes sense for us not to be in there. Yeah, we, we cleanly won the WAC this year. We haven't played Nevada yet, though. What? Is Nevada nice? Or did we already bust their ass? Let's see. Oh, they lost 8 to... Yeah, we already bust their ass. 8 to 46. <laughs> but they won, all, they won all their other whack games. They beat Fresno State. That's something they can be proud of. Um... Let's see if we've been on the cover of any of these. I don't think so. Maybe the first one? No. Nope. 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 Okay. Look at this. See, this was this was this was when we were like, yeah, we the best in the we the best in the league, cause we beat the number one Oklahoma team. But then we weren't. We haven't been on the thing since. And then Texas beats Oklahoma. Or maybe Oklahoma beat Texas that game. All right, I, I need to look at this. Let's look at Big 12. Yeah, Oklahoma beat Texas. So it'll probably be Oklahoma versus Nebraska. And Oklahoma's only lost to us. In Nebraska, they haven't lost, so that would be a good game. It's, it may be us, Nebraska, but it's going to be interesting. Tennessee, may, it's going to be interesting because, look, let me tell you. How it's looking, we're going to beat USC, but you're going to have Nebraska. If Nebraska beats Oklahoma, they'll be the undefeated Big 12 champion. The undefeated Big East champion, and the number and the undefeated SEC champion, and the number and the undefeated WAC champion, who beat the best team in the back twelve and the second best team in the Big Twelve, who 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 deserves to go in here? You know, Virginia Tech. Their only notable win is Miami. Nebraska. They haven't played anybody. Their only notable win will be Oklahoma. We beat Oklahoma and USC, and their only notable win. Like, let's look. Let's look. Let's look at the schedules, and then we'll, we'll call it. Let's look at their schedules. Let's look at ten. Let's start with Tennessee. Like, look. Like, who have they beat? Who have they played? They beat Nevada, a trash Nevada team, seven and three South Carolina. They beat Auburn. That was their only like quality win, in my opinion, was Auburn. And then look, they're playing trash boys. Then they'll play a bad team in the ship. You got Nebraska. Like, it's similar with Nebraska. They beat a trash Hawaii team. And then they look at this 2-8, and 1-8, and 4-6, 2-7, and 3-7. 3-7. They blow out Texas A&M. That was a good win for them. They barely beat Texas. That's a, Texas A&M and Texas are good wins for them. If they beat Kansas State and then they beat Oklahoma, that may be good. But look at Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech only beat Miami pretty much. Have they even played Pittsburgh? They blew up Pittsburgh. They beat Miami. But if anything can happen, they could. They could lose to Boston College. They could lose to Virginia. 
We'll see, ma'am. We'll see, ma'am. But I think, but I think, like, honestly, I think once we beat USC, we got to enter the top two. They can't put us at three if we beat USC. Like, they pushed Virginia Tech up from four to two because Virginia Tech beat Miami. They got to push us up from four to two as well if we beat USC. So, we'll see. Um, But that's enough for today, man. Next... Next time, we'll come in here... We'll play against, um, we'll play against Rice. Then we may call it, I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all what we expect. We'll probably play next stream, we'll probably play only one game. If it'll save. So let me show y'all, let me talk, tell y'all straight up, I'm gonna be honest. So, we'll probably only play one, we'll probably play the only the Rice game, and then the next week we'll probably only, and then the next time I stream, I'll probably only play the Notre Dame game. Then the next time I stream, we'll probably play the USC game, maybe another, but probably only the USC. Unless if we're the number one or number two team, then I'll play the USC game and the championship in the same day. But otherwise... That's the stream for today. Got three more regular season games, and then we're in the championship. So, y'all be easy. Godspeed.